This lesson is about the relative pronouns. Take a look at these sentences. The woman who was shouting was angry. My garden, which is small, looks spacious. The car that drove right past me was red. The girl whose brother is in my class is nice. The man whom I sent a letter will help me. What she told me isn't true. All the underlined words are what we call relative pronouns. In this lesson I'm going to show you how and when to use who, how and when to use which, when and how to use that, when and how to use whose, when and how to use whom, and when and how to use what. The relative pronoun can refer to a noun, for example, I know the artist who made this painting, and here who is a relative pronoun, and the artist obviously is a noun. A pronoun? She can tell me nothing that will change my mind. That is the relative pronoun. Nothing is the pronoun. A subclause? He told us we could go home, which came as a surprise. Which here is the relative pronoun? And we could go home is a subclause and a main clause. I filled my exams which I had not expected. Which here is the relative pronoun and I filled my exams is the main clause. Remember, a subclause is a clause that cannot stand on its own. The word or words a relative pronoun refers to is called the antecedent. For example, there was a man who was quite clever. The man here is the antecedent. She told us to leave, which was a shock. To leave here is called the antecedent. The part of the sentence that contains the relative pronoun is also called a relative clause. There was a man who was quite clever. Who was quite clever here is the relative clause. She told us to leave, which was a shock, which was a shock here, is the relative clause. Now let's take a look at our first relative pronoun, who. We use who when the antecedent is a person. For example, her cousin, who is five, is learning to speak English. Cousin here obviously is a person, so we use who. My neighbours, who are old, complain a lot. Neighbours here are people, so so persons, and we use who. Now let's take a look at the word which. We use which when the antecedent is not a person. For example, the bike which he forgot to lock was stolen. She asked for my help, which I find charming. In the first example, bike obviously is a thing, so we use which. She asked for my help here is an entire clause, so again we use which. Now let's take a look at that. In order to use that, we need to find out whether the clause that we use as a relative clause is non-restrictive or restrictive. A non-restrictive relative clause provides information that can be omitted, so information that is not essential for the sentence to make sense. For example, my uncle Bob, who is a butcher, has a cat. Now, the sentence my uncle Bob has a cat is a perfect sentence which is grammatically correct and makes sense. So, who is a butcher here is additional information but it's not essential to making the sentence grammatically correct or coherent. The restrictive relative clause provides information that cannot be omitted, so this information cannot be left out, otherwise the sentence doesn't make any sense. The people who live here are lovely. The people are lovely. Obviously this sentence is grammatically correct, but we don't really know which people we are talking about. This is a house which is very old. Again, this is a house, makes perfect sense, grammatically that is, 
but this is a house. Yes, we can see that this is a house. We need extra information on that. In a restrictive relative clause, who and which can be replaced by that? The people who live here are lovely. The people that live here are lovely. This is a house which is very old. This is a house that is very old. In a non-restrictive relative clause, who and which can't be replaced by that? My uncle Bob, that is a butcher, has a cat, is grammatically incorrect. Sometimes we can omit the relative pronoun. When the relative pronoun is not the subject of the restrictive relative clause, we can leave it out. The boys who you saw are my nephews. Here, the subject of the relative clause, so who you saw, is you and not who. The boys that you saw are my nephews. Again, you is the subject of the relative clause. So we could also say, the boys you saw are my nephews. So here we can leave the relative pronoun out because it's not the subject of the restrictive relative clause. We can also use whose. We use whose as a possessive form of who. The man whose bike was green laughed at me. Here we say that the bike belonged to a certain person, the man, so we use whose. Now sometimes we can also use whom, but it's quite informal. And we can only use it in restrictive clauses only. The doctor whom I told you about is friendly. The final relative pronoun is what. We use what when there's no antecedent. For example, what you saw is unique. When she sees what you have made, she'll be speechless. We don't know what exactly what is. What strikes me is that he didn't apologise. I thank you for your attention.